Hokey dokey. In this problem, they give us a function f on a graph, and they're just asking us about the intervals for which it is increasing and decreasing, or neither, strictly increasing or decreasing over certain intervals. So keep in mind with each of these intervals here, they're describing um, an interval of x value. So for the first one, for example, from 2 to 5, they're describing what the graph is doing from x equals 2 to x equals 5. So from 2 to 5, is this function increasing? Well, increasing is basically just the y values going up from left to right, while decreasing means the y values are going down from left to right. So from 2 to 5, the y values are in fact increasing. So that is a true statement. So then we check uh, number 2. They say it's neither increasing nor strictly decreasing over the interval 5 to 6. So from 5 to 6, it looks like it starts off increasing and it barely changes to decreasing before it reaches 6. So that means it changes from increasing to decreasing, which means it's neither strictly increasing the whole time nor is it decreasing the whole time. So because it changes, that is what we're looking for to call that a true statement. We're looking for the change from one to the other, increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing. All right, number three. They say it's neither strictly increasing nor decreasing over the interval from 9 to 10. So from 9 to 10, it starts off increasing and changes to decreasing. So that is also a true statement. So A is already correct. Let's see if we can find the statement in each of the other ones that make them incorrect. Real quick. So option B, they say decreasing from 6 to 7. That looks good. From 5 to 6, they say it's strictly decreasing. But we found in the last one that it's not strictly decreasing from 5 to 6 because it starts off increasing just after 5. So that is the false statement in B. Let's skip to C. Decreasing from 8 to 9. Well, 8 to 9 has an increasing behavior. So statement 1 is already false. So let's jump to option D. Increasing over the interval 2 to 5. That's true. Decreasing 6 to 7. That is also true. And then increasing 5 to 6. I think we also found that from 5 to 6... Uh, yeah, so they say increasing from 5 to 6, but we found it was neither strictly increasing nor decreasing because it changes from increasing to decreasing. So that is the false statement in D. So as long as there's one false statement in either options A, B, C, or D, then that makes the whole option false. So A is the only one with all three true statements, so A is our answer. Feel free to check out another example I'll work out here shortly.